<laughs> Let's play! Whoa! Hey there, ladies and gentlemen, you all may call me Pharaoh, and welcome back to Let's Play I, The Somnium Files. Last time we left off, there was quite a bit that happened. Uh, not only did we learn what Mayumi was doing, like how she traveled to and from the warehouse, we learned that the van that had Iris in it stopped by So Sojima's house, and we went back to his place, or when we went back to his place, He's dead, dismembered, and his left eye t taken out, uh, left in a vase. And then we synced with Mayumi, and she just was looking out for Oda. And, but basically, with So's murder, I think it confirms that Iris, uh, Oda, and Mayumi are not the killers for sure. So it, it was a very eventful episode, and a very sad one, and nice, but... We have a little bit more to do. I don't know why it's giving us an option to look at all these again. I'm just uh, quickly doing this. I think they just simply want us to speak with Mayumi or Oda really quick, and let's do that. So what happens now? I was always so selfish. I made my mom go through such hard times. So from now on, I'm going to support her the way she supported me. I'll do anything. I'll deliver newspapers or be a janitor or anything. I'll work as hard as I can to make sure my mom can rest easy. What about your dream of being an author? Well, of course I'm not going to give up on that. But I'll set my sights a little smaller. I'll start by writing a short story. Let me read it when you're done. Of course. And that's always a bit of advice I always have for people who say never, you know, abandon your dreams, always go for it. It's a, it is great advice, don't get me wrong, like, you, if you have a passion for it, go for it. At the same time, you have to set realistic goals and, well, be real, be a, real about it, be realist, because, at least from what I've seen, and the more so on, like, people who try being content creators and streamers and YouTubers, whatever, in order to reach the top, they would try giving up everything. They would only focus on streaming, and in doing so, they lost everything. Their job, their friends, special someone, whoever, and they get nothing out of it. So it's like, pursue your goal, but be real, be real, realistic about it. So, one last thing. Oh, I forgot to tell you something important. Something important? I heard the nurses talking before I came in here. Iris is awake. R really? Yeah, she's due to be transferred from the ICU to the general ward. Thank God. You saved her life, you know. Maybe, just maybe. Huh? Maybe what? <laughs> Nothing. See you, kid. Is Iris your girlfriend? Yeah, I'll introduce you next time. She's a great girl. Oh my, I'm looking forward to it. Is she going to be your financier? Oh, maybe I should clean up a bit first. Financer? Oh, fiancé. Oh, yes! Yes, that's it! <laughs> Jeez, Mom. <laughs> uh, uh, don't make me cry, game. Ah. Uh. Date. There are still many loose ends in this investigation. Yeah, you're right. <sighs> Looks like another all-nighter. The music is beautiful here, and it honestly reminds me... It kind of reminds me of Era's theme from Final Fantasy VII. Like, I was expecting something, and I'm like, no, no, that's not it. Wait, what? 
<laughs> Wait, I'm done with this path? Oh! Oh, shoot! If I knew that, I, <laughs> I would have clipped this on to the last episode! Oh, well... I'm sure people are yelling at me now. Once again, it's blind. How do, like... It, and, and sometimes, like, I have to keep reminding people, it's like... Because some people, I know a lot of people take it as a joke, but some people do get really mad when... You were right there, you should have kept going! How the fudge was I supposed to know? It's blind! Giant... Okay. Sorry. But... <laughs> um... Yeah, okay. So, I, I was right in the sense that we're not going to be able to solve this completely until we go over every single path here. And then finally, I guess it's all going to converge somehow. I just didn't realize it was going to be this, um... I thought there was going to be a little bit more before this happened. Huh. Okay, and I'm, I'm going ahead and I'm going to keep these credits here because this is the first time we've seen it. I'm sure it's going to keep repeating as we get to other endings. Um, but I'll, I'll skip those. Uh, but yeah, holy crap. Oh, and here's the English voice cast as well. Uh, everybody is amazing. Erica Harlacher, that's who it is. Okay. Uh, who else? Oh, Zach Aguilar, I play Dota. Okay. Try to see if anyone else I know. Sean Shiplock. All right, he is really in everything nowadays. Kaji Tang. Ah, oh, I was hoping they would show who the hell the receptionist was. Okay, that is a very, very good um, lineup of voice actors. And Greg Chun, I feel like he is in, in a lot of a lot of great things. Very, like, how do I put it? In a very short time frame, looks like he's been in a bunch of ga uh, games, especially, but. Good for him as well. Good for everybody. Like the voice, the voice acting here is amazing. Um, I'm sure the Japanese voice acting is amazing as well. But just from simply listening to an English one, damn, damn good. Actually, it might be a good, uh, good thing to let this run. I have a phone call I need to take. I will be right back. Okay, so I hope you all enjoyed that, uh, the credits there. I do apologize. I, I usually would pause or something, but I just let it run. But that was a good phone call. I mean, it was something adulting, you know, but it's good for me. So glad I took the call. Anyway, it looks like we're back at the police headquarters, though. Um, I guess it's kind of like an epilogue a little bit to the ending we just got. So let's see what's happening here. Has there been any progress in this Jima investigation? None. Zero clue. Not exactly. We have two clues. Two? Two points of information. But they may not connect directly to the murders. What are the two clues? Point one. This may be easier to see than explain. I sent a video to the boss's PC. Could you check there, please? All right. Boss went to her desk and moved her mouse. I stood next to her and looked at the monitor. What's this? It's from Sunday night. Yes, after Date was beaten by Ota at Matsushita Diner. Tessa, wait! Uh, I'll get the car! You witch! 
There, stop it. I noticed this earlier as well. Do you see the walk on the floor beside Iris and Mayumi? Yeah, what about it? Look closely. The bottom part is curved. Do you notice anything in the reflection? Iris and Mayumi? Yes. I have prepared an enlarged and processed version of the image. Boss, the next video. You witch! You, you stay away from my boy! What's wrong? Did something happen? No, everything's fine. Okay, let's go. Ota. Hey, what's this? Was that something I was able to see before? Because I, I, I mentioned to you guys, like, hey, it's very odd how she slowly went up to Mayumi. And I thought she said something to her, or, like, gave her, like, a devil's eye or something. Like, during the, the initial scene, I'm like, okay, that looks weird. But, well, there you go. That's, um... That's freaking interesting, to say the least. Iris has the kitchen knife? The video continues, but this should be enough. Iris took the knife and left the diner with Ota. But if Ota's testimony is true, the polar bear had the kitchen knife. Maybe it was taken off of Iris when she was kidnapped. At the Femisto parking lot? Whatever, we can think about it later. You said you had two clues. Yeah, what's the other one? I have learned new information. More thorough autopsy results of Renju's body have revealed something. An object in his intestines. An object? A clump of organic matter. Because it was partially digested, it took significant time to analyze. Well, what was it? Five bucks, it's his eyeball. Shoko Nadami's eyeball. Okay, maybe not his, but it was hers! What the hell? Oh, so that was the Ota route. Oh... Okay... Yeah, hell yeah, I like to say! But man, this game... You know, I, I know at the very beginning, like... I think I was like a little iffy because I I thought it was going to be multiple cases we'd take a look at, you know, kind of like Ace Attorney. I'm like, oh, one case here, one case here. But it's like, no, it's one large case, but it keeps evolving. I actually love that so far of the game. Wow. Damn, this game's great. So here we go. <clears throat> there are still mysteries left unsolved. The real culprit, the incident six years ago, and Date's past. The story's branching points are Insomnia. Use the flowchart to, to jump to a branching point in Insomnia. It may be hidden somewhere in the dream world. Find a new way forward. So, okay, well, we did one path. Now, as I mentioned before, it's like I'm not sure how exactly I wanted to do this, but I think I want what to make things a little bit simpler, especially for everybody watching, and also for myself, because it's going to be more fresh in our mind. I should go back to the most recent Somnia and choose the other path, because we, we should be already familiar with what happened here. So as a recap, I guess, I mean, it's like we started a game with Shoko's investigation, did, this, did that one Somnia, and it was really odd. It was in Hitomi and Iris' is home. Um, and then there's other Somnium regarding Mizuki herself. And I forgot, I think this was the birdcage that we moved? Or was it a balloon? I can't remember. No, it's like we put together the photo. That's what we did. And that's how I branched off over here. 
And with uh, Renju's murder, and Ota smacked us over the head in the warehouse. So we're going to go back to this sink. And instead of escorting him to the green shelf, we're going to escort him to the red shelf. Um, do I want to keep all this in? I mean, we've already seen this. But since I already know what to do, I guess it makes it go really quick. I'll, you know, I'll keep it in. But I think the because of how nice it is to... Um, how quick it is we can move... That, that, that's the nice part about it. So we're, we're just going to keep it all in. So all we know what we can do. I still don't know how to get that, though, unfortunately. The uh, the hidden object here, but I'll figure it out later. So we want to go ahead and slide. Alright, here's where... Well, here's the difference, actually. It's all thing about... Because we want to go to the right path now. We need to escort him to the red shelf, which is... Well, I'm assuming this is what they mean by red shelf, so... Uh, well, no, oh, never mind. That's clearly red! <laughs> but I'm sure we had to do something here regarding it. A plate attached to the sh I'm assuming we breathe on it, but first go ahead and do this. These don't really do it for me. They have to be. Well, I'm back to work. There seems to be nothing here. Oh, sorry, there. I didn't didn't mean to accidentally skip that. Like you're not content with D's, Date? Seriously? Maybe the oil drum. An oil drum, though it is lying down. I want to say we should roll it. And it said a set on it. That should get his attention. <clears throat> Acetone? A set? What is this? Eventually stopped thinking. That's Tessa. Stand your ground. Odamatsu Shida cowers to no one. The hell he drop. Well, either way. The other path has been unlocked now. I have to fight back with something! Okay, use... What do you... I thought it was a phone at first. I'm like, no, a remote control. Ooh, does it... There you go. I bet you five bucks or it controls a crane. But, uh, here you go. A remote control. It fell when Ota ran into the shelf. Let's see. You can press a button, we can break it or investigate it. Honestly, I don't think it's I don't think it's good to press any button just willy nilly. I know it's a old saying there, but uh, maybe we should investigate it first. This remote control is for the crane. You can move the crane with it. Okay, I don't know if that was absolutely necessary, but. They did confirm what I said, that's definitely for the crane, so let's uh, press the button. Hmm, nothing is happening. Maybe there's no power. Hmm. I'm kinda glad now they told me that. I hope I'm, I hope I'm gonna have enough time to do all this. Oh, here we go at the power board. It appears to be a power panel. Throw something, jump, or pray. I, 
think we need to throw something. Although she can jump, but once again, Insomnium, it's kind of hard to tell what you can and cannot do. I understand it's like kind of like a dream world thing and... Ah, screw it. Let's go ahead and try throwing something. I don't know what. This is an ice cold one. Iba, aim for the switch. Position target in the center and hit the switch. Position target in the center and hit the switch. Okay. Awesome. And all we gotta do is uh, press the button, and we should be good to go with this Somnium. Now it will move! I... I can't stand. I'm weak. Did he really help Iris like that? Regardless of the truth, right now, I am Ota's last hope. I have to help him up! This is annoying. Eh, maybe it's a little annoying, but it's okay. You have less than two minutes. Hurry. Ah. I'm so mad, I don't know how the hell to get that freaking ball, the hidden object in this, but whatever. I'll, I'll try, I guess I'll look it up later. Alright, here we go. Push that button. Here it goes. I hear some sounds, but no response. I'm not sure I should press it. Ota might need to. Yeah, Ota. Damn it! Okay, I wasted some time there. That's okay. That's okay. Oto looks frightened. He cannot stand. Uh, well, like what happened before, I think we need to cheer. Or do we have to calm him? See, that's the problem. It's like, was he scared last time too? Ah, uh, I'm gonna cheer and see what happens. Oto will feel the worth of Iris's peace when he grasps it. The ghost inside me whispered. Right. I can't run away now. I can't sacrifice Tessa. I feel like this would have taken way too long to be effective, but then again, it's his dream or how he interprets it. Oof! Wait, if that happened, then maybe we'll get some new clues for sure. You hit the limit. Time's up. Wait, I can almost make out their face. Cuter, force shutdown. Stop! Stop it! Is it just me, or is that one a little bit more graphic than the other one? Um, I think I'm just overthinking this. But, uh, okay. Well, that worked. Unfortunately, damn, 250 seconds for that one, damn. Anyway, uh, we did what we need to do, and we're gonna be going down another path. I'm not sure how this is gonna change things, but I'm excited to see. What were you thinking? You can only stay in Somnium for six minutes. Any longer and you risk getting your mind completely taken over by the subject. I know. No, you clearly don't. This isn't just about you, Date. 
If your consciousness erodes inside of Somnium, you put the subject in danger as well. If I may? Fortunately, there were no abnormalities detected in the brainwaves after the sink. Gate and Ota both read normal. Although, the timing was really close. What was I supposed to do? You saw it, boss. You too, Pewter. I was about to see the culprit's face. Not necessarily. We need to verify that Ota did, in fact, see the culprit's face. That's the only way it could have ended up in his Somnium. Well, Ota... Huh? You saw the killer's face at the warehouse, didn't you? I don't know what you're talking about. I didn't see their face. If I did, I would have told you guys already. You see? I mean, I did try to get a look at them. When the polar bear fell over. They looked like they were knocked out, so I tried to grab the head part. But as soon as I did, I got stabbed in my gut. That is what we witnessed in his Somnium. Yeah. Okay, now there's something I, I'm just thinking here. Obviously, this is a lot different than obviously what we saw before. It's like, okay, we investigated and actually what, what does happen here? Oh yeah, we, we uh, he's in the, no, wait a minute, that was, uh, he, already, he already got hurt. No, so right afterwards, we went to go talk to Mayumi because we investigated him and then her. Now here, it's like, oh, we're just going directly into talking with him regarding, like, hey, did you actually see the, the face? But my thing is, like, how do we know exactly what happened? But I guess that's the point of the game, you know? It's like, you can't truly, truly, you know, I guess rely only on the Somnium to, like, uh, see what really happened. But I think it's like the overall mystery, once we figure out everything, then we know exactly what happened there anyway sorry I'm just rambling let's uh let's keep going a little bit actually before I do anything yeah you know what I gotta do different strings of characters and numbers continue to scroll on a monitor uh table come on I wish I could climb up on that table and fly around the world on it with Tessa what kind of fantasy is that his fantasy? Listen, man, we all got our own fantasies. Leave him alone. I've been watching you forever and ever. Hey, did you hear something just now? I did not. Perhaps you're imagining it. Well, that's really... Well, odd. A little creepy. It's definitely a woman's voice, I'm pretty sure. What the hell is that all about? I'm kind of glad I did that now. See? That just reaffirms my... Like, my play style of why I have to check everything before I actually speak. This stuff of mysterious mushrooms. The hell, you first you had, like, boy love mangas and... And romance, now you got... Mushrooms? Pewter, I mean, whatever you're doing in your own time is whatever, it's you, but... Man, okay. Oops. I thought there was something else I could take a look at. No? I really thought there was one other thing I saw that was green around here. Maybe it was the boss. Oh, there's the monitor. Date, look! That haunted girl is crawling out of the well. Well, why not give knife hunting a whirl? Are you glitching out or something? Now, we heard her say the first one before, but... Knife hunting a whirl? The hell? Okay, yeah, we'll definitely have to owe her an apology. I know it was dangerous to sink past the time limit. That was my fault, and I'm sorry. Are you really sorry? Yes. Then you owe me some Dom P at my favorite club in Kabukicho. Or, you can lick my shoes. Either or. I vowed to never apologize for anything ever again. Hey, listen, I think there are some guys that are into that stuff, so... Data, you, you, you do look up uh, cuckoldry videos. I don't think you'd be uh, against licking her shoes. 
Boss looks even more upset than, than angry right now. I bought my brain waves and Oda's. It's all right. As I mentioned earlier, both your brain waves are normal. However, I'm sure there was some overload. You should go home and get some rest. He's calm as usual. Uh, after the sink, Oda changed his usual clothes. He changed into his usual clothes, I should say. He looks tired, sitting on a chair. Uh, well, how are you feeling? I've been better. I'm still a little drowsy. What about your stab wound? My what? Oh! Oh, it hurts. It started acting up suddenly. Ow! It's because you grabbed me and forced me to come here, Date! Don't blame me, that was boss. I'll sue you for this! Oh, come on. Nor, how about this? Get me one of the straws Tessa used, and I won't sue you. I see Ota is back to his healthy self. Guess so. Yeah, that was kind of creepy of Ota. Although, did you guys see what Boss was doing when we said, like, we kind of blamed her? It's like, hey, that wasn't my fault, that was her. She's like, me? Oh, I love Boss. Uh, what? I can't see this. Like, why were you hiding, what, the knife in your room, maybe? I think that's what it is. Yeah, why were you hiding a knife, dude? Because I was scared. Scared? The killer could come here to finish the job. But you didn't get a good look at their face, right? But they don't know that. I had it prepared just in case. You know what I'm talking about, right, Date? Preparing in advance in case you might need it. Like making sure your room is nice and clean before you go to a party. Oh, sorry. You probably don't have any experience with that. I have more experience than you. Ah, <laughs> uh, I mean, you know, I don't. Know. I was gonna say something. Ah, oh, never mind. Okay. So yeah, what about the hook in the polar bear's leg? Because, because that's something new we haven't seen, and I would imagine that would lead to something, right? DNA, maybe somewhere on the floor. Something? Ota, let me ask you something. When you were fighting the polar bear back at the warehouse, did the crane hook get stuck on the polar bear's leg? Now that you mention it, maybe it did. Maybe? It's like I told you, I don't really remember much. With all the tension and excitement and fear and adrenaline, my mind just went blank. But now that we're talking about it, yeah, no doubt about it. The crane hook got stuck on the polar bear's left leg. And then, when the hook got pulled out, blood sprayed all over. Date, I checked all of the hospitals in the metropolitan area. None have a record of a patient admitted after 3 a.m. with a wound to the left leg. If what I saw in Somnium is how it happened in real life, that was a deep wound. He definitely would have needed first aid. Perhaps a friend or accomplice helped them. You think there are multiple killers? That is not what I said. They may have helped the culprit, but not necessarily been involved in the crimes. So maybe like... Like a friend or like... Well, obviously he's not gonna say, Hey, I'll try I tried killing these uh, couple kids. Could you, uh, stitch up my leg? I'm sure it's like, oh, a friend... Kayla, whoever the killer was, came to them and they're like, oh my god, what happened? Yeah, I'll fix you up. So, I'd imagine if that was the case, either the friend is a doctor or somebody medically inclined or, here's another thing, maybe the killer themselves is very medically inclined. Maybe they suture themselves or something. We'll see. I relayed the information to Boss Computer. Even though they're right in front of me, but okay. So we know that the culprit has a deep wound on their left leg. Actually, never mind. They... I was talking to myself and Iva, so they couldn't hear me. Never mind. That information could be crucial in catching them. Date, get out there. Look for people with an injured left leg. How exactly? 
Can't you just go ask around or something? Are you serious? Do you know how many people live in this city? What? Date, what is the matter? Date! Are you all right? I guess it beats getting smacked over the head by a walk. But I'm getting worried about him, though. Like, why? Why is that happening to him? It could be the whole thing about, like, the, the erosion of his conscious because he stayed too long in Somnium. But I, I am still very curious about the whole thing regarding the medication that he takes. And I do feel like it honestly goes back to the incident six years ago with the original Cyclops killer. I hope my theory isn't right about that, but we'll see. <sighs> hey, this is... Oh, you're alive. Suki? What happened? You drank too much at the club and passed out. Liar. I remember everything until I collapsed in the control room. You did something dangerous during the sink last night, didn't you? Your brain got overloaded and you passed out. That's what Pewter and Boss said. You met them? They brought you over. They said to let you sleep it off because you were tired from the investigation. Okay. That's, uh... I guess it's all well and good. I am, I am getting worried about this route I just took, because if the first one I took was apparently the Ota route, and, I mean, what the, whose route is this going to be? How many routes are there? Like, I'm more intrigued about regarding this sink, because this one goes up. I just figured all of them were going to go down somehow, but... Ah, okay. Um, before I end today's video, I'm going to quickly take a look at the new information we got here, and then, then we'll call it an episode. Ah! The new one we got. Branching paths always appear in Somnia. Discover the other, other routes by jumping into Somnia where the story splits. Well, that's, yeah, very true. And what is kind of cool is we already have all the characters, like, because who knows if we're going to come across the taxi driver on this route or not. Um... But the thing is, even though we already saw it, it's already going to be kept with us. Makes sense. Um, at this point, there's only, what, five people I've met, I haven't met yet? And that, I don't know how to feel about that. It's like, oh boy, unless somebody's getting updated. Because who knows? Maybe one of these people that are already here, maybe somehow, some way, they're the killer. And then it gets updated. They're like, ah, it was... Freaking Kagami. What, what was his other name? Kan Kaniza? Kaniza? <laughs> anyway. Uh, yeah, so we, we got a while. We got a little bit to go here. And I'm just excited, to say the least. I mean, we saw it, we saw an ending. It's just kind of like how 999 and the other games where I'm like, yes, I got one ending. Now I got to get the bazillion others. And then it all just comes together and it's nice. So, as usual, thank you all so much for watching. And I will see you all next time for Let's Play I, The Somnium Files. Love you all so much. Have a great day. Thank you all for watching this video. If you enjoyed what you saw, feel free to leave a comment, a like, and subscribe for future content, where I aim to release a video a day. And if you do subscribe, make sure to click on the bell symbol to be notified once new videos are uploaded. You can also catch me streaming from time to time on Twitch, follow me on Twitter, and join my Discord server to relax with other gamers. All this information is in the description box below. Have a great day.